Yeah. Are you a YouTuber? Yep. Yeah. Oh god, that didn't sound good. In this box is the icing wheel, ice hoverboard, ice scooter, whichever brand they decide to go with. GT2, which promises to be the fastest e scooter I've tried. Let's get it out. Ooh, grip tape. Not stuck down very well there. Box. Ah. Oh, you screw it in. That's interesting. Two amp charger. Plug. UK plug. Well done. Instruction manual. Well, here it is. GT2. Look at those tyres. Look at those tyres. Oh yeah, that's that's quite big for an e-scooter, isn't it? Eleven inch. Tires, 800 watt scooter, rear wheel drive, rear disc brakes, front disc brakes, handlebars that can go down and up. 25 kilograms, bring fun into your way. Ooh, thumb throttle. Let's turn this bad boy on. Hold it down. Oh wow. I'm sure you can never see these properly on camera, but oh well. So pressing mode changes this down here. It's a bit laggy. Press it, when did it happen? There we go, trip. Press it again. Odor, took a while. Press it again. Trip, okay. Ooh. Light, oh, whoa, that's nice. Lights. Anything else you need? No. Posh. What's good? Oh, <laughs> we got turn signals, but they're red. I do like having turn signals on a scooter, but wh why are they red? Just put yellow ones on. It's nice. Ooh, it's quite bright. Right, going up the hill. Setting one. 8.8, 8.7. Let's go up one. This is two. Still pulling. 17. 17.1, 17.2. 18. I'm going to leave it in level two for a while, see how it goes. I'm going to turn the lights on. It's got like a rev counter, and you can see that. Oh, I've got the blue. Oh, wow. Can you see the blue? Uh... I'll turn this down. Look at that. How cool is that? Wow. Right, I haven't had a, a good run yet in, in setting two. I've only been in setting two so far. Let's see if we can get something around this corner. Feels good, feels comfortable. Now, let me reintroduce myself. Welcome to the EVRC where we test all sorts of electric vehicles like e-scooters like this. This is the iSyn Wheel GT2. You might see it badged differently, but this one's badged as iSyn Wheel. It's an 800 watt e-scooter, off-road, 11 inch pneumatic puncture resistant tyres. Come on, let's say, far, come on, 18.6. 25 kilograms this I think it's got a 200 kilogram weight limit check this place out that's cool oh hello wait 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 oh yeah oh come on come on accelerate oh what's happened here that's not what I want to do speed Error. Let's turn this off. Ah, it's busted. That's not what I wanted to say. Let's head back. Ugh. Kind of in the middle of nowhere here. Huh. I wonder who's got something to do with. Oh god, you can't push these scooters. Right, let's take you back. <sighs> so, I spoke to iScooter, and based on what I said, they said the problem is either with the computer or the controller. So, they have sent me it took about one and a half weeks to come from China. Uh, a computer. 
and a controller. So basically that's what would happen if, if you buy something from a Chinese company that doesn't have a store in the, the, the country that you live in. Um, you speak to them, you say this is what's the problem and then they'll send something and, and then you're going to try and put it in yourself which is what I'm about to do. I'm going to put the computer in first because that's easiest but also on the off chance that actually the computer is sending too much power towards the controller and frying it. So I'm going to do the computer, see if that works. If that doesn't work, change the controller and then hopefully we'll have a fixed scooter and I'll be able to take it out finally on a proper test. Error, error, error. Are you going to get an error? Right, still got the error. New computer, still error. So let's try changing the controller. Annoyingly, I can't get my screwdriver down there. So I'm going to do this for every single one. Ooh, ooh, yeah. So here's the battery, there is the old controller which I've got to change. It's quite cool that they've got this little rubber thing in the clamp to make sure it not, doesn't rattle around. Quite often these things just rattle around quite a lot. It's stuck down. What I'm going to try and do is swap everything like for like. Oh, so there we go, it's one thing plugged in. There we go. Play it single. Okay, what else? We got the yellow thing. <laughs> oh god, that didn't sound good. That's a power. I mean, it's turned off, but that's still the battery. Gotta be careful really, aren't we? Maybe that should have been the last. And then the big white one, just hooks underneath. So that one, gone. In. Which leaves this, orange and black, not connected to anything. I believe there was an orange and black here that also wasn't connected to anything. Oh, before I, uh seal it all up I suppose I should see if it actually works um, I think I think that's the on button there let's see if this turns on no error accelerator where are you there you are oh, oh it's back it's back right let's get you put together then woohoo I'm just quite happy I didn't blow it up so after installing the new controller it works, but 15.5 miles an hour, that's not good enough. But, let them know. And they said, if you press the power button, rather the mode button, five times, it will unlock the max speed. One, two, three, four, five. 27.9 miles an hour. I think I saw that. Let's try it. Yes, that's faster. Right, let's take it out on the road. Right, I'm back on. I never even got it into uh, third gear last time. Third assist mode, because it cut out. But here we are, back. And have I got something going for my... Oh, that's not ideal for my back, wheel, back leg. It's going to go and do my route that I like to do and hopefully it'll be alright. It, it takes off really well. Up the hill then, I think I got to about 18 miles an hour. So the no load speed, we're meant to be able to get up to 28-ish miles an hour. So we can get up to. It doesn't, I mean it takes off faster, it doesn't feel mega fast right now. It feels... Like I'm doing 27 like I am doing <clears throat> the max speed but this is at a slight hill 27.9 that is the max speed I'm at it yeah the initial up to like
five, six, seven miles an hour is quite good, but then it slows down quite a lot. Feels quite good. Twenty, two, one. It's a flat ground. Twenty three, twenty four. Now the IX4, to be fair, can only get me to about 25, so this could be... Oh. Right, I've got to be careful with this brake. As soon as you let go of the brake, it starts trying to accelerate again. It doesn't have the best turning circle. Now you can see this. You can see this, this wire here. This wire here. Really quite loose. And that wire, let's go to the grass. That wire is part of the reason why it's not cutting out because that wire is coming undone. That is meant to be there, so that when I pull the brake, the throttle cuts off. So, right now, I'm not doing any throttle. Oh, it's totally undone. That's the front brake, isn't it? Yeah, so that, that wire is coming undone there. You can see that. It doesn't even reach because it's stupid stupid oh my god let's see how it does have these bumps so it is comfortable as you'd expect right it's put it's cut out this time let's go right. yep what we got to see 22 22.6 Oh, I hate that. Oh God, the camera. <laughs> it really annoys me, that camera does. It's not the camera, there's nothing wrong with the camera. It's the, it's the thing that holds it on. <laughs> right, 22. I mean, it's not shocking me with its speed. I thought it might feel a lot faster than this, to be honest. To be honest, this doesn't even feel like I'm going 22, really. What I might do is stop again. Oh, hang on, this is where I can usually get some good speed up here. 25, 25, 27, 26, 27, 27 miles an hour. Basically on a flat. This is, this is annoying when things do this. It's like, Oh, there you go. Right. Let's put this in my pocket, see how fast it goes. See what it says. I mean, setting one right now. Setting one takes us to 9.3 miles an hour, according to this. To be fair, this does not at all feel like 9.3 miles an hour. I would never call this 9.3 miles an hour. Oh, hang on. Oh, that does say 9 miles an hour. Fair enough, okay. Let you off. This is two. Bit of bit of power off the mark there. This one's saying 16.17, 18, 18.6 miles per hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose this just feel faster than your standard 15 and a half. I think I probably wouldn't bother with cruise control because my hands aren't always on the brakes sneaky sneaky sir all right let's get to level three see how fast i can get down here Of course, it, whoa! I don't know, I think, I think, I think that was a route. Uh, 11 inch, fat off-road, chunky tyres. If the snow was still here, it would have been good to uh, see how well these did, because they do look pretty awesome for scooter tyres. So no saying 23. Slight hill. 
but be careful with the uh, leaves. 26, 26.7, 27, okay. We're gonna get over here. 26.6. Let's try and get a bit of speed on there. I don't know if you can see that if I do that. Here's the bit where I need to duck. Uh oh, can you hit me? Ah! <laughs> It's so, it, it doesn't feel really fast, but I think I am going fast. It's, it's a weird sensation. Look this little thing here, I don't know, I don't know even what that is, but let's see if we can get up on this. Some things don't like this. There we go, that's all right. Whee. Thank you. Oh, I feel good. Four bars out of five. All right, let's see how this turning circle gets me through these bars now. Oh, oh reverse. It's not a big issue, but it's noticeable when you're pushing it around. It feels like a sturdy scooter. I like the suspension. Woo, woo, woo. I think what I'd like to do is to uh, get a few other scooters and like directly race them. Maybe I should take this up the hill as well, up the um, sandy lane. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Oh no, it's flooded. I'm not going to go through there on this. Okay, I would do that on a bike, 100% on a bike, but not a scooter. Okay. So yeah, we're going to go. To the main road and cross the bars came back come back it's got 50 uh, five bars again come on let's see what we can get up to don't go in my way they're always playing here hello is it flooded nope The brake's working as intended now. Power's up there, fine. Wasn't me. Marty, what's the date? Marty. Let me get to setting seven. Four, five, six, seven. And if it's on zero zero, it means he's going to run at 100% speed, which it is, so that's fine. So I just need to uh, get back out, which I think I did by. Oh, did I just change something? So, what are my first impressions of this then? Well, apart from the fact that it broke, which at least they managed to send out the parts pretty quick. So if you're, ho if you're happy to get your hands a little bit dirty and do a bit of swapping over, you should be fine in that sense. And hopefully, um, there won't be a problem if you get something. Now to be fair, Ice Scooter has sent me in the past four scooters, the, uh, I know, five scooters, sorry. The i9, the M5 Pro, the iX4, the i9 Max, and this, the GT2. And of the four, five, of the five, uh, two of them had issues. This one and the iX4 both needed new controllers so take that information and use it how you'd like to use it it's a nice scooter it's I like the way it's adjustable you can fold it down really well you can put the handlebars in uh, there's a decent amount of room on the deck although I'd like a bit of the back where I could put my heel um, I like that it's got the uh, cruise control range well I'm actually down to three bars at the moment but I'll see how far I've gone Range is always dodgy with me on it anyway. Top speed at the moment, I'm going 21.7, but I want to see how that does. Um, and I think it just doesn't feel as fast as it should feel. I'm sure maybe I just haven't ridden one of my other scooters for a while because it is only 800 watts. It's not like a super duper scooter. It's only a little more than the others I've got. And if it can get up to 27, that's okay, but it's, it doesn't, 
consistently get up to 27, especially with me on it. So after I've done my route, how, how fast is it going to go up this hill? Not that fast at the moment. 14. Again, it does. It does. It says 16 miles an hour. It does not feel like I'm going that fast. Am I just too high? I don't know. The deck is quite high off the ground. Twenty miles an hour, which ordinarily, compared to everything else, is fine. I think it's a psychological sensation where I just feel like I'm getting slower than I am. <laughs> Indicators, they're cool. And I like the lights on the deck as well, they're nice. Now, this was a first impression, as I always like to do when I first get it. Just what is my general first impressions as I first ride on it. And apart from the fact that it broke and I had to fix it, it feels like decent. But there is something about it, why, like why does it feel like I'm not going as fast as I am? Okay, it feels pretty fast now, but I am going down the hill, 27 miles an hour. Last time it topped out at 27.9. Just doesn't feel that fast at other times. So anyway, if you want to see more of this scooter, you want to find out a bit more, is it worth getting? I'm going to do more tests on it. I'm going to take it up the, the hill. I'll try and do more of a range test on it. So if you want to see all these things, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you've got anything out of this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more of this or e-bikes or e-skateboards or unicycles, do subscribe. It is absolutely free. Click that button and hit the bell so you don't miss a video. However, if you think you're here for a one-off and you probably won't tune in again, don't subscribe because people choosing not to watch my notification videos does actually hurt the video. But yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out more. First impressions, not entirely sure yet. So to finish off, we're going to get back to the garden. We'll see what the range is. So I won't say goodbye just yet. He reckons I've done about four miles. There we go. Maximum speed, 22 miles per hour. Since I last did it. So even though there's a few times where I was meant to be doing 27 miles an hour, it's just 22 miles an hour, so... And it did feel like I wasn't going that fast. And that's a bit of a lie. But when I was going downhill, it did feel like I was going a bit fast. But on flat ground, it never really felt like I was going very fast. It's very interesting. I'm going to have to do this properly. What I might do is get into the uh, settings, make sure all those settings are right. But first impressions are, uh, keep testing. And on that bombshell, thanks for watching. Ride safe.